details this afternoon let them enter this afternoon we're giving you the opportunity to know why some commodities are seeing that marginal up on the bloomberg commodity market and then when we get to the local market we're talking about your investments let me take you to the stock exchange now if you can see that government will list part of the eurobond funds on the gse let's find out why government's motive to list on the gsc the one billion eurobond proceeds parts of it on the gsc and maybe while we're getting it on two exchanges so we have this and many other interesting details coming up shortly Portia. My name is Kwe Kutsamen. Details of our stories this afternoon. Now, listings of the country's second eurobond will be done on the GSC, that's the Ghana Stock Exchange, next week. Last week, government was credited with 750 million out of the 1 billion it issued last month. Well, the bond is to be listed on two exchanges, the Irish Stock Exchange and the Ghana Stock Exchange. Joining me on the line to deliberate on some of the opportunities on the this particular one is Victor Obey, Vice President, Frontline Capital. He's in charge of research. Victor, many thanks for joining us on Midday Live. Well, we want to find out from you. This is the yeah. first time well, it's a, a past proceeds from the Eurobond would be listed on the stock exchange. We want to find out from you why the decision and what opportunities would this present? Um, thanks very much and, and uh, many thanks to you and um, good to your cherished um, viewers. Um, you know, we have been crying over the years with our managers and investment advisors over the years looking for so many places to push uh, people's uh, pension money and other related uh, investment um, money. Um, in the past, it has been very difficult to get uh, bonds listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange. This is the very first time the government is listing a few bond on the, on the Ghana Stock Exchange. Um, there are benefits over here when the bond is listed um, on the secondary market. Uh, we're talking about become there is a win-win situation here. Oh, From right. the viewpoint of a retail investor, the most important gain is that um, you are able to easily trade bonds under the supervision of the Securities and Exchange Commission. There is transparency, there is timely and adequate information on all prices of the bonds when it's listed. So it's sort of like it becomes very easy. It improves liquidity very easy and deepens the market. Um, of the bond at the moment uh, uh, I was few bonds are lifted I was coming to the issue of liquidity because for some time now, a lot of people, most business analysts, we've been crying over issues of liquidity on the market. Over 34, just about 34 companies listed on the GSC. And that buoyance is something we're not seeing. Do you see the listing of some of these proceeds from the euro bond, seeing that surge in liquidity on the market? Exactly, like I said earlier. I mean, we have only 24 uh, listed um, equities. That makes it very difficult when you're looking for a stock, you're not getting it. For bonds, we have just a few government of Ghana five year bond that's listed. So adding up the euro bond and then hopefully the seven year, the five year bond that's going to be issued is all going to add up to the liquidity issue that we're talking about and deep in the market and make it easier for people to just trade off the bond whenever they want to trade it. Well, Victor, so we'll see some capital injection there. But let me find out from you, in your opinion as a researcher, could there be any threats at one point in time? Or is it just a matter of advantages throughout? <laughs> I mean, in any investment, the, 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 the risks are there. I mean, the threats and the risks, the, the risks is there. You always have to look out for the risk before you look at the advantages. Otherwise, you'll be making a big mistake of only looking at the advantages involved in, 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 in the listing. Um, there are other related risks involved in, in some of these things. But um, the most important thing is there is the deepening of the market, which all farm managers can easily assess. So let's forget about whatever trade or risk it is and then let's help to develop our capital market that's most, most important so that the government itself in the near future can tap into that market back home in Ghana rather than going outside to borrow from, from, from okay from but it. maybe you might not want to touch on it but I read around a lot maybe let me present this to you cheaper source of um, um, mobilizing funds do you think that the commercial banks maybe in and around this time could suffer a little bit um, to the advantage of maybe the entrepreneur who's looking for cheaper funds? Come again. 
do you think the various commercial banks could suffer a little bit uh, um, when it comes to looking for cheaper funds because people would then even want to think about getting access to funds from maybe um, um, the, the stock market <laughs> you know the stock market has always been a cheaper way of raising money so um, it depends you, the capital structure of almost all companies is consists of the, the debt aspect and then the equity aspect. It depends on the means that the companies in Ghana want to find themselves. Forty percent debt, sixty percent equity, or no company in this world goes out by hundred percent equity. So the commercial banks will definitely get their fair share of the okay. Of the but yes, it depends on the regime we find ourselves in high interest regimes. Most companies will want to come to the capital markets because it becomes cheaper to raise money there. Cheaper to raise money there, Victor. Thank you very much, okay. Victor Baines, Vice President, Research Frontline Capital. He joined us to talk about the listing of the Eurobond proceeds on the Ghana Stock Exchange. We'll be updating you more later tonight on Business Focus. But let me just quickly go to your commodities. Talk about how the various commodities have fed on the market and just give you a feel as to which one is doing well. We've seen gold see a marginal decline and this time you know most of the mining companies are talking about increasingly the decline of gold prices on international markets 130 to 1,327.26 US dollars on the international market. It's seen a decline of 11 US dollars. And that is up to the minute report. We're just getting you this from Bloomberg Commodity Prices. Now you see gold and it's not looking good. Uh, that's cocoa has also seen a decline of 23 US dollars with a current price of 2,476 US dollars a ton on the international market. So kind of a dicey situation on the commodity market but we will wait till later tonight and find out how the prices are like my name is quick with me many thanks for joining us